Hi, in this episode of Toys Bags Zen, I'm going to be taking a look and unboxing this brand new 2022 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Party Wagon. Now this is made by Playmates, and I just wanted to check this one out. I've never had this complete. I do have the vintage one, but it's missing a lot of parts. And so I thought it might be interesting for you guys to see how I react, opening this up, putting it together, and just having a good time seeing what it felt like opening up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. When Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles first came out back in the late 80s, I was a teenager, I was driving a car, and toys hadn't been on my mind for a couple years. So I totally missed the TMNT era, and I do love the toys, I collect them now, and I have a toy store now, and I'm selling a lot of the ones from the early 2000s, which are really great toys, and they're really cool. But today, we're going to be focusing on the nostalgia of the 80s and early 90s. So, let's take a look at this box. We've got all four of the turtles here. We've got Michelangelo in the back. In your face! And, of course, don't ta fuss if you're French. Yes, this is the Canadian version, and there is French written on it, too. Taking a look at the left hand corner here, we'll see what the toy looks like with all of its accessories on it and equipped with the turtles driving in the van. It says, sits six figures comfortably. Spring action foot tenderizer weapon. Anti foot blasters and wacko bombs. I do have a couple of the original bombs, so that's cool. It says, figures sold separately. Turning it around, you can see the side here, and you can see what it looks like when it opens up the side door. And taking a look at the back, you can see all the scenarios that you can do with it, opening up the top, foot stink stickers. So let's not spend too much time looking at the box. Let's get this thing open and see what this thing is like, and see if the quality of the toy is similar to the quality of the 80s toy. It does remind me of the van. I'm not sure if these stickers are exactly the same. I'm gonna actually pull out my original one and we'll take a look at that. I'm pretty sure this is the same. It feels good. I mean, it doesn't squeak like mine upstairs. Um, the plastic feels good. That opens up. We've got the little tab here. That locks into the, the door. Turning this around with a little bit of light here, we can see the piece that drops down. Now, I did watch somebody talking about this a while ago, actually, and I think they mentioned that the plastic was kind of rubbery and uh, this wouldn't stay on. But mine is actually a really hard plastic it doesn't feel flimsy at all and this piece here it's not coming out well it does now because I pushed it out but that's in there really well so I don't know if this is a newer version of this and they fixed that problem or what so that is actually in like works really well and it's on there really good it does not come off easily so that's nice and this does feel like the original van feels really good let's look inside it looks like the original one looks really good I think when you lift this up it's supposed to disengage it just didn't disengage when I first opened it because it was all tight in there from the probably being in the box you think that after making a bunch of these over the last 
three decades, they'd get really good at making these, and I, I think they have. So let's take a look at the instructions and put this thing together. Assembly. Attach super spoiler to the top of the wagon. Load wacko bombs into the street level bomb slide. Attach machine blaster to side mirror, then attach side mirror to wagon, and there's two of them, one on each side. Attach foot finder blaster to the top of the wagon. Place figure onto seat and fasten into place by using the rubber band as shown. Pull back super spoiler to automatically release the spring action foot tenderizer and the wacko bombs. Once flip top is open, place up to six figures inside. To close, lift up bomb slide, close tenderizer, then push down flip top locking the tenderizer in place. Lastly, close the front visor over the windshield. A couple things about this toy is I do like the visor up and the other thing is if we look at the original bombs they gave you a laugh gas stickers and even though they put stickers on this already they didn't put any stickers on this and they could have at least given us stickers I would have been happy to put my own stickers on this I didn't see any stickers in the box and looking on the box here on the front there doesn't seem to be any stickers on the bombs either so you just don't get any that's unfortunate I might actually make my own stickers for these I think it would look cool now as I was considering purchasing this I was also wondering because my vintage one does not have all of the accessories on it whether the accessories would fit on the old one and let's try that out Looking at the original van side by side with the new one you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between the two and looking at this one which is the new one and this one which is the old one I've put the new visor on the old one and it fits just great along with the weapons too also it's nice to know that if you have some of the parts they are the exact same mold from what I can tell and they are interchangeable so if you have one of the original guns and you need the mount you can put them on there they seem to be the same the bombs have clearly a different construction these are screwed together where the original ones have been glued or plastic welded they do have the same holes on the top but for some reason these have holes on the side where the new ones don't you can see here at the top of the door opening you can see that there is a notch cut out on the new one and you can see here that the molding detail here there is a raised piece here on the new van where that is absent on the old one and there's also a opening here that clicks into the roof here where the other one clearly has no tab there and no opening there so they're pretty similar but there are some differences here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two party vans you can see they are quite a bit the same when it comes to the details the stickers the molds and all the parts even though there are some molding differences they're very minimal and it's pretty much the same toy
So please like and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this vehicle and my review on it. Hit the notification bell down below to be notified of new episodes. And also check out my other channel, Retro Lab 82.